Attention Entropians, Bob Silent here again, and I'm bringing you the latest in global news. Mayhem is over, folks. In weekly hunting stats, we have a total value of 2.971 million PED, 26,127 globals. It's down about 10%. Uh, in weekly mining stats, we got 553,659 PED, 4,667 globals. It's up 2% in value, 14% in the number of globals. Weekly crafting stats, it's of course explosive projectiles. With 3.4 million PED and 17,273 globals, and it's down over 10% for the week. Lots of Annihilation Zombies still in the weekly globals. It's a really nice zinc stone. Lots of explosive projectiles. Look, lit shin guards. Okay. Taking a closer look at hunting. This is the easy way to tell the mayhem's over. Not a single zombie here. Some action on Big Industries, some action on Medusa's head. Not going to bother looking at the most popular mobs this week because it's, uh, it's Annihilation Zombies on top and uh, we can't hunt those anymore. In hunting or in mining, see some action on both FOMAs. Lots of action actually. Some action on Arcadia Underground. Now, taking a quick look at mining land areas, wanted to point out that uh, Arcadia Moon is in seventh place out of the top ten mining land areas. It's beating out hell right now. while Arcadia Underground's in third place. Still got a lot of catch up to do, but I mean Arcadia Under Arcadia Underground and Arcadia Moon deeds are seeming to be getting closer to closer to value parity as it goes. Looking at mineral composition. We've got Listerium Stone, Calderite Stone, Iron Stone, Belkar Stone, Narcanison Stone, Crude Oil, Melty Water, Blossarium Stone, Zinc Stone, and Ignisium Stone. Taking a quick look at the crafting live list. Lots and lots and lots and lots of explosive projectiles with a component widget and a tech gizmo. Oh, and some simple one conductors. That's a nice simple one conductors, in fact. Nice Hoff. Looking at planets, Callie's clearly on top. I'm more interested in what today looks like than the rest of it. Looks like people are back on <coughs> on the planets they prefer. Rocktropia has beaten out what it did yesterday already. Monia is still like in competition with Arcadia for total globals, which is really amazing. Looking at land areas. Oh, 
Park Kia Moon is for the last seven days outperforming the underground in mining. Not a lot of action on some of these big industries areas, which is kind of rare because they're the the people who run these events over here, like the progressives at 201 so far for the month. Looking into mining. Arcadia Underground and the Arcadia Moon. Looks like it's about one third. <coughs> FOMA's doing very well, of course. It seems to be Somebody was even hunting on FOMA, which is what rare. People normally just uh, line up there. Said the big monthly progressives at 201. You can get on board that by getting a global on any <coughs> any big industries land area. In the weekly events, the Grind House has 14 participants, and I'm willing to bet anyone can get to the top 10 with a single global still. <clears throat> yep, anyone can get to the top 10 with a single global still. <coughs> That's really odd. In the event target, it's listing Count Vamp of Broom and the Big Pumpkin. I don't think those are mobs on your land areas, dude. All right. That is all I have for you today, Entropians. Stay safe out there.